with the clerk who said, well, when you wash them, the leg will get shorter. And I said, well, then the rest of the pants will get shorter. And I heard this chuckle behind me. And I thought, what an annoying little person this is, to, first of all, to be standing listening to what I'm saying. And it was Bob. So um, after I was done, I, I walked around the store a little more. I think I walked around the store because I felt something. And I just wanted to see if he would do the same thing, and he did. going on? I want to show you something. It's late. I think I should probably not. It's not even midnight yet. You're such an old man. Come on. It's number three on my list. Number three? Really? Mostly because it's... It was the beginning for me, you know? This one here? Yeah. And you don't know anything about it? Nothing. I just saw it over there. I've probably seen it a thousand times before. But this one night, I was getting into my car and I looked up and it was just solid. So theoretically, you don't really need to be scared. I'll miss you. I'll remember to take lots and lots of photos. Two years is a long time. Oh, but I got you something. Thank you. I love it. Promise me you'll wear it every day? I promise. Pinky promise? I pinky promise. Just like old time. <laughs> I haven't liked doing things by myself. It's very hard for me to do things by myself. So I'm very happy that I forced myself to get out because it's been very relaxing and yeah, it's progress. You know, you take one day at a time and my anxiety has been holding me back from doing a lot of things such as doing walks by myself and I just don't want to do it anymore. I'm tired of my anxiety being the speaker for me. I think it's time that I deal with it and figure out how to manage it and take it into a different direction, you know? 